That's right, it's targeted advertising. What a future we live in! Welcome back to Let's Play Halo Anniversary. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm starting this episode once again in Blood Gulch. Why? Because I wanted to show off a thing in this game that I can only access in multiplayer mode. You see, when they, uh, originally released Halo on PC in, like, 2003, they added a few things to sweeten up the deal. Uh, and it seems that the version of Halo they put in the Master Chief Collection is based on that, so you can get some of these new goodies in multiplayer mode, like this fellow right here. In addition to having a snazzy new coat of paint, this Warthog, which uh, also has, you know, the same two seats as the other one, has a new turret! That shoots rockets! And you can shoot three of them before it has to reload! I'm not really much of a multiplayer guy, but I do find myself curious how they even try to balance the Rocket Warthog. Ooh, man cannon. Get on that thing, damn you. I want to see if it even works on vehicles. It doesn't! Oh, I've killed myself. <laughs> this is silly. And here we are back in the campaign where we've made it to the structure that contains the control room. We just need to get to the top. Yeah, they put, uh, Halo on PC in, like, 2003. The trick is that they never, ever made it available on, uh... Well, you know, like, game streaming services, like... Or, no, not streaming services, uh, digital distribution services, like Steam, or good old games, or what have you. They made it very clear for a long time that they saw Halo as, like, the golden goose of their Xbox exclusive, so they weren't going to let anything jeopardize that. Oh, fuck. Right, I forgot about that. Hi. Bye. I actually remember, in 2014, there was a rumor going around that in order to, uh... I thought I heard you, actually! Oh! I don't know how that even worked. Ah! Okay, now that turret isn't going to be a problem anymore. Oh, hey. I think it's because I hit the shield. That was dangerous. Maybe you can rocket jump in this game, after all. Oh, that was my last... It is my last shot. Okay, noted. Finally, oh, that's what it was. Yes, I was starting to say, uh, 2014. Like, I remember rumors saying that, you know, in order to draw more, you know, drum up more, uh, support for Halo, they're finally going to release Halo 1, 2, and 3 on PC. You know, that was the rumor going around. Someone had found, like, I don't know, something on Steam that seemed to indicate that they were, uh, preparing to add Halo to their network. 
And then instead, the actual official announcement was the Master Chief Collection. You know, Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4 on, uh, X-Bone. I distinctly remember my stomach sinking when I heard that, because I thought, this will never come to PC. And while I was half right, because it took five years beyond that, you know, they added it in 2019. Oh no, I can't just open this door. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm supposed to go, so I'm going to look up here first. Hello? Anything? No, this is just another one of those places to think about your troubles, I guess. In okay, 2019, they put this out on PC. As I recall, uh, when they originally launched the Master Chief Collection, on X-Bone, it was so fundamentally broken that uh, they ultimately apologized to everyone who bought the game at launch by saying that everyone who owned the game before this date is going to get a free copy of Halo 3 ODST in the Master Chief Collection, even though it's not a game about the Master Chief. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't, it's now paid DLC. <laughs> You know, because they're still a business. Reach was uh, added when they brought this thing to PC to drum up more support for it. Actually, when the PC version launched, it was just Reach. They added them in chronological order for some absurd reason. Uh, fuck! Well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, step one. Deal with the sword guy. By the way, yeah, it's easier to tell like this, I think. I really like that the holograms physically stick out of the panel. Ah, oh, help. Oh dear. <laughs> okay! I don't know how I could have avoided that one, in fairness. Excuse me! This is not a good plan! Oh, there's more elites behind me. There's a problem. Huh. That guy seems to be a real pain in my ass. So what I'm going to do is... Hmm. Yeah, you can move them by punching them, but that will, in fact, take absolutely forever. So I'm just going to have to make a break for it. I don't even know if the swords work if you're technically in a vehicle. Hi! Eat shit! How do you like this? Getting hosed down, you're going about your business. Wait a minute, I never actually fired this. Surely you guys had guns in your hands. Yeah, there's a gun. But it's also a uh, medium-range rapid-fire weapon, so let's not double up. Uh, right, that doesn't work. Not in this one. Fine, fine, pla no, no, Needler! Yeah, I haven't done that in a while. Am I just remembering it wrong? 
I really didn't like the Needler back in the day. Oh. No, in fact, this one. Danny. Covenant forces in the vicinity have been eliminated. Let's move on to Halo's control center. You got it, Cortana. Incidentally, uh, yes, they did name the Cortana digital assistant after uh, this character. And yes, they did make the digitized voice sound as much like Jen Taylor as they could. Control Center. so fast it's glorious so what sort of weapon is it what are you talking about let's stay focused halo how do we use it against the covenant this ring isn't a cudgel you barbarian it's something else something much more important the covenant were right this ring it's forerunner give me a second to access it yes the forerunner built this place what they called a fortress world in order to no, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. Something buried? Wait. The Captain. We've got to stop the Captain. Keys? What the are we... weapons cache he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here. Find Keys. Stop him. Before it's too late. Jesus. The last transmission from the captain's dropship was from this area. That was over 12 what hours the? ago. Fuck that. My controller was pressed against my leg because I set it down during the cutscene. <laughs> so I fired my gun and threw a grenade. Well enough alone. Yeah, that's accurate. You got it, Fellhammer. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Even though that line didn't seem to actually play. Stress call telling me that Captain Keys has been captured. 
And uh, just in case, uh, note that the description of this level is Creep through a swamp to meet the only enemy, the Covenant Fear. Hang on. Sorry about that. No oh dear. For the love of God, man, can't you hear the music? We have more important things to worry about. Okay, this I like. The glowing tips at the end. I feel like that makes this place so much more alien. Oh my god, I'm still following the green lights. At least I didn't think this thing had headshot capabilities. Oh hey, there's a good sign. The doors appear to have been ripped off. Well, on that side, anyway. And the gun is gone. I know it's a cliché of the genre and all, but... I kind of feel like I'm being watched. I have the pistol. Oh. Okay, I'll try up here. no one even in that turret. You'll notice we haven't seen any elites yet. I don't think that's a coincidence. I'm pretty sure the impression we're meant to get here is that the Covenant are in total disarray on this part of the ring. Did I reload that thing? I did. Sorry about that, I just wanted to uh, double check a thing. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who informed me that the character on top of this pistol is the Korean symbol for the number seven. <laughs> God damn it, Bungie. No Marines. That's not weird at all. I know it sounds like I'm like playing it up, but I'm actually really nervous right now. You like it. You ass. What? No. What? Well, I'm burning dog face and I need to find my gun. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Well, I guess I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Halo Anniversary when I've caught up with you.
Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. I think I'm going to need it. Later.